Here's a data challenge. Do Gen Z's prefer iPhones more than Android? Here's a survey result. Take a screenshot and see if you can answer this question. This is what most people will do and honestly, it's not the best way. They make a chart using the age group as the X axis and plot the number of observed preference in the Y axis. And then they draw the trend line. But there's a better way. We can use something called the chi-square test. Now, don't swipe away just yet. This is really easy. Here's how to do it. Step one, for every cell, calculate the expected values. Do this by multiplying together the sum of the cell rows and cell columns, then dividing that by the total sum of all cells. Step two, for every cell, calculate the difference between the observed and expected values, then squared result. Then again, divide by the expected values. This is called the squared difference. And if we sum up all the squared differences from each cell you get the chi-square statistic. Step 3. Find the degrees of freedom from your data. In our case, our 6 by 2 table gives us 5 degrees of freedom. Yeah, we need to know this to compare our chi statistic with the correct chi distribution. Step 4. Look up the critical value for the chi statistic with 5 degrees of freedom. We can just use Google. If we want to be 95% confident, then the critical value is 11.07. And since our chi statistic is lower than the critical value, we can be 95% confident that there is no relationship between the age group and which device that they prefer. For more data science videos, subscribe.